Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on Manage Services. So literally in this video, um, we want to just be able to do uh, various actions for uh, managing services, whether it's um, starting, stopping them, reloading them, um, restarting specific um, parts of a service, or um, calling specific patterns to check for service running or get to start or whatever so if i launch the terminal as always okay so let's i've just created <clears throat> i just have the normal inventory file we're just uh okay for the for the inventory file today we've just got a single server defined which is that one client um we're just going to create some very simple examples for this um because service management in in essence is pretty straightforward there's not too much there but let's um go through some simple examples here um we're creating a new one called service mgt dot yaml we can pop that there give it a name manage a service in various ways so we're just going to Manage servers in various ways. Um, hosts all become yes, and then tasks. Okay, so let's just do first, let's just start a service. Start HTTPD, that'll do. Um, we do the full, full name. Ansible dot built in dot service, or you can just do service, but this is the best way to ensure you're getting the right, you're calling the right task. So, name HTTPD state equals started, oops, started ed, um, started, and then we can even just say um, enabled, yes. So we're going to make sure it's enabled at boot and we're going to make sure it's started right now on that on any server that we target with this script so let's right quit and Ansible playbook inventory service mgt and we've got successful message um so i'm i'm pretty happy with that uh, we can check uh, the client quickly and you can see it's active running so it looks good I am pretty happy with that okay so the next example would be just to stop the service and we can literally we've got to remove this enabled line we can obviously have that still but it's irrelevant if we've done it once already you could potentially add disabled uh, enabled and equals no rather than yes and then that'll just stop it from starting up on on, on reboot um <clears throat> let's do that yeah let's do a stopped state and then enabled is no so i don't want it to come up on boot and i want it to be disabled okay so let me just rerun this huh. yeah i've got something to test <laughs> it still says it says start hctvd um and yeah i'll fix it up So we rerun that and we should just get an okay this time because it's already it's already stopped it in the previous step and now it says stop and lo and behold it's um already stopped so we can again go to the client and just double check uh, let me just bring that to the top window to the status and we can see it's inactive or or dead so all good so that's done its thing um let's clear that 
Okay, so the next one after stopping it is we'll just um, we'll actually do a restart of the service. So um, state is just restarted. Note they're always in um, past tense for some reason. So it's not state restart, it's restarted or reloaded or stopped or started or whatever. So yeah, just one thing to note. It's a bit odd to be honest, but it is what it is. Let's rerun that. And so it's going to restart it. So I'm currently stopped from the previous. Um, it should reload it. Yeah, I've still got the start HTTPD. I'm not going to change it every time. <laughs> I should just change it to manage HTTPD perhaps. Make a bit more sense. And yeah, the actions happened. That's good. Um, we can just go and double check. And we can see it's been running since 10 seconds ago, so it's definitely restarted, which is great. And we obviously can run the exact same command over the top, and it should just reload it again, or re restart it again. And we've got it changed. So even though it was started, we still got changed and we can see it's only started seven seconds ago so that works nicely oh, it still says reloading actually so it might still be coming up let's just make sure it does come up yes yeah, active running okay cool that was a bit worrying it just took a second obviously these uh systems aren't very um highly specced because obviously they're running my virtual machine um, for stuff like HTTPD, um, if we're making changes to the config, a good thing to do would be um, to reload it. So basically, it will make the HTTPD uh, HTTP uh, daemon go and reread the configuration file and make sure it's up to date with what of the is in the configuration file. So it might be like you've changed the um, certificate that's been used for the the HTTPD service, or you've changed I don't know a configuration variable of whatever and um, you can use that to get it to pull out um, to reload and then re regather these bits of information and, and do the needful um, based on whatever the configuration changed obviously there's some per certain things that probably um, need a full restart to actually uh, enable probably but you'd find that 99% of the time it's there a reload is is enough so we can actually go in and do that so we literally just do reloaded that matrix reloaded um so we give it a reload did <laughs> and uh let's see how we go we got it changed so if we go back to this we can You can now see it's active but reloading. But the the actual act uh, the actual service was started two minutes ago because that's when we first did it. But we have just have an, a reload happening, so it's just reading the configuration right now. And if I rerun this now, we have an active running. So it's actually gone through and reread the configuration. We can actually see uh, the useful thing about um, system CTR the way it prints out or system D. You can actually see um the time so we can actually see it's originally started up here and it's actually got a reload here on the line there and then you can see that, again the, the same error message i've got because of my my config isn't perfect and then you just got the reload uh, reload of the uh, reload of the apache server and serves configured and is listening correctly so it is useful there okay so let's i'll oh, exit i'm still on the client so yeah there's not that much in this so a lot of the um some of the options we re previously had um for things that uh, didn't use systems that didn't use system d um they they had a bit a few more options um around using patterns and stuff but that's all we really have so we have the reloaded restarted stopped and started um and we also have the options of enabling it and uh, disabling it that's from starting up sorry and that's pretty much it so it's um
really pretty straightforward uh, to manage services here to be honest what else would you really do with the services you can obviously make changes to config files and restart reload the services and you can make make changes at the file level if you need to make change on the service itself so yeah you can manage services in multiple ways but yeah to actually action any uh, system uh, system d or system ctl um, functions then this is the way and it's really pretty straightforward there's only literally a couple of lines and only a few options available so um, i hope this video has been useful to you and uh, catch the next one thanks again um, right now i've just popped up on my sc on the screen uh, my t public page uh, that's for any kind of csg merch if that's anything you're interested in uh, got my Kofi page um, for any kind donations um, if that's uh, something you're interested in um, yep and also just the details of my discord server so that's the best place to ask questions um, also we've got obviously you can ask questions in the comments and I'll try and um, help out where I can but discord place is a great place we've got a bit of a community going there and um, you can reach out to myself and also the community and someone will try and help you um, yeah, it's a great community we're building there well thanks again and i'll see you at next video cheers